Hi all, welcome to my video for Space Station. This is the last video that I'm going to do for Pinball FX3. I have a few more lined up, but I think I'll rather wait now for the new Pinball FX to come out before I'll carry on again. Uh, this table is quite straightforward. Not too much to do, but it is fun and it is challenging because of the lack of in lanes. Because of that, I also thought I'll do a bit of a tips and tricks section. Watch out for that at the end of the video. You always launch the ball into the rollover targets. Don't have much control there. And then yes, you try and get that drop target in front of the right row ramp. There we go. Now you can try it from the left, but it's much more riskier. I try not to look at the drop target when you shoot it. I try and concentrate in the middle, else that will happen. And then yes, you dock your first ball uh, with the rollover lanes at the top. Try your best not to light more than one because steering multiple it gets a bit difficult to control that. And you need to relight them again after multiple before you can dock balls again. Okay, nice nudge there to control the ball. And then yes, there are docked the second ball. And now I have to lock the third ball before I can start the rescue multiball and get the rescue jackpot. Here we go. And then yeah, dirty trick for the table. Unfortunately something wrong with the nudge, so if you nudge up the start of multiball, you get the rescue jackpot for doing nothing. Okay, and usually one of the balls stay over in the launch lane, but in this case it didn't. Uh, but yes, so just do your best to lock the two balls again. And you can lock them in either of the two, the lane or the ramp. It's easier for me from the right to shoot the ball on the fly, but it is possible from the left as well. Okay, and then yeah, rinse and repeat. That's what you do for this table basically. Always hold the left flipper up. Yeah, you'll see again. Hold the left flipper up um, once the balls come out of the uh, jackpot. Okay, and then during this multiple, another example, three balls in play. And yeah, it requires quite a bit of juggling and most of the times you don't get it right. But in this case, it worked well. Nice little flick there and bounce over. And yes, on the fly, uh, up the left lane, to that up kicker. And then in the second one as well. And then what you want to try and do is just before the balls come out, when the top row of numbers disappear, you shoot, but I missed it there. But then you can usually get another rescue jackpot without having to re-dock the balls. Try your best with the rollover lanes at the top not to light all three. Uh, so I did well there. And then one ball is already locked. So let's see. Yes, there we go. Two rescue jackpots so far there. Okay, so let's move on. During my main game, I was lucky that I just needed one shot off the multi-ball to get that extra ball. And then yes, before I could re-dock the balls again, I first had to get the three rollover lanes. There we go, we're gonna go for it now. Got it, great. And then yeah, nicely on the fly. As I mentioned, it's much easier from the right flipper, but from the left, it's quite difficult and quite dangerous. So in general, don't try to do it. Okay, nice bounce over there. Cradle the ball and then yes, shoot it. That's quite easy enough to do. Okay, and then we have to lock the third ball and then we'll start the next. There's a nice little flick up there to control the ball. We need to do lots of little flicks. I'll show in the end how to do that. Okay, and then just an example here to show that they need to get your timing right. There, that disc was still spinning, but the ball got ejected after I tried to dock it too quickly. There we go. Here's another example. 
takes quite a while here, uh, but you can see now that this will spin there at the top. And then I thought that was good, but unfortunately not. It needed to spin some more. Another one ball gets ejected, but that's okay. Just stay patient and you'll do fine. Hey. So now, oops, lost the ball there. But I still had another ball in the launch shoot. So I just had to shoot that. And then, yeah, there you go. I made sure that I didn't light the roll over lane. And then, yeah, that's the advantage of having that nudge glitch. Okay, so this is the start of another ball just to show you the USA targets if you light them up. There we go. Then you see two times stop and go. So if you then get the drop target down on the right ramp. I've got special there as well. No idea what it does. <laughs> I've tried to look before but it doesn't seem to do anything. Here we go. Lucky with a drop target. But now I'll see if I, if I shoot up that right ramp that I get two times. There we go. Get two times the value. And it seems if you get it during a multi-ball that, yeah, there we go again, that it, it stays active until you lose the ball. So you can get lots of points that way because you can get up to five times stop and go. I don't have an example of that, but yes, uh, valuable points there. Okay, they show a nice under over and again two times the value for that uh, ramp shot. Good points that way. Okay, so um, there I thought I could get another extra ball, but <laughs> unfortunately for me, I flicked it and it ended up being a bonus ball. I hit that uh, bullseye target on the right. And then yes, bonus ball is a special feature for this table. If you lose your last ball, then you have 45 seconds to score as many points as you can. Can't score too many points in 45 seconds, but yes, uh, it's something. So at least <laughs> it's a chance to try and make up a place or two. So in this case, I had a house ball. And then, yeah, just not very lucky with my bounces and all that. There you can see <laughs> out the left outline, but it doesn't matter. Another one. Let's see what I can do. Shoot it up the ramp. And then, yeah, get the stand up target. So, yeah, maybe you can get good points there, but uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's not a huge. A huge um, advantage to have the bonus ball. And there we go. Done with that. Okay, so end of my game. There I thought, yo, okay, just ready to dock two more balls. And then, yeah, basically got a ball that I couldn't save, unfortunately. Uh, so that was a good game. I'm happy with the score. Uh, this table you just need to play a lot to get used to the flow of it and all that. And then you can put up nice scores and play consistently. So yeah, good score, happy with 4th place. But yes, I have absolutely no idea uh, to get to those 23 and 25 million. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the tips and tricks section. So because of the table's layout without the outlines, you have to be very good on your flippers. And there's a few tips and tricks you can do. That is if you can get your flippers on the ball. <laughs> so this table is also well known for throwing house balls at you. There we go. Not much you can do about that. See?
even there hitting the bumpers yep not much you can do there but that one i could do something about that one as well and uh, that's why you have to be good with your life catches and drop catches on this table i'll show you some examples there that was just not good <laughs> i needed to do a drop catch there we go works really well one of the tables where it works best use your bumpers rather than your triggers and also don't hold the button and flick it that works best especially for the drop catches there we go another nice example Okay, live catch there on the tip. It's not a live catch per se, but it controls the ball over to the right flipper. And then in that case, it landed on the same side. And there was another li nice live catch there. And another one. But yes, you just need to practice that a lot. And it will work to your benefit. And then yeah, little flicks and tip passes and all that. You need to practice that a lot as well on this table. Fine flipper control the only way you can control the ball here we go nice little flick over there again there just over and yeah just stay patient and it works out well and yes i was in control there but yeah <laughs> it almost didn't work out nice little flick there to keep it up okay and then when it goes up that left lane button all the way always nudge gives you a better chance of saving the ball here we go, nice drop catch there as well. And then yes, if it goes up that right popper, um, also give it a nudge there. Oops, nudge on the out lane, very important. There as well, nudge just in time. Ooh, middle nudge there, managed to save it. And then yeah, when the ball goes up that right lane, um, you have to control to almost to a live catch and then just keep a close eye on the ball Here's the last example, but yeah, so a few tips and tricks here for you uh, Just practice it and the more you play the table the more you will get a feel for what you need to do And what will work and what won't work and when to leave the ball Thanks guys